We got a bidet. Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's video we got the next episode of The Bad Batch for you. Um, Sarah is actually going to tell us about the episode today. So we're going to tell you what happened and then tell you our thoughts. And then it's up to you on whether or not you want to go ahead and watch it on Disney+. Plus. So Sarah, what happened this week on The Bad Batch? This week uh, was actually quite a few things coming together finally. We actually got to see all of our Bad Batch characters all in one episode for the first time in a very long time. Um, I'm going to kind of break it up by character group so that it's not so jumping back and forth, kind of like what the episode was like, just to try to make it a little bit easier to follow what's going on. Um, so I'm going to start with Crosshair. So Crosshair is... Um, as we know from the last episode that he was in, he was taken prisoner um, by the Empire for at least what we thought was for shooting his commander. Um, they're claiming that that's not what he is being a prisoner for, but that actually they want to use him to figure out where to find um, Clone Force 99, which is the rest of the Bad Batch group, because they want to find Omega. Um so, somewhat surprisingly, Crosshair doesn't really want to give them any information. As we know as the viewers, he doesn't really have any information anyway. Um, but the Empire just sees him as being uncooperative, tries to use a probe droid to try to get some information. He at one point is able to steal one of their blasters and shoots a couple of the um, guards and tries to escape. Uh, he is then recaptured and doesn't make it very far. But before he gets recaptured, he's able to broadcast out some sort of a signal, which we later realized in the episode was using his old calling tag. So the rest of the Bad Batch, when they receive that signal later, they recognize that it's actually Crosshair sending out this signal, saying something along the lines of, like, watch out, they're coming for you. Um, the rest of the Bad Batch doesn't really know how to interpret this because Crosshair has crossed them before, um, so whether it's an actual plea for help, like telling them to be careful or not, they're not really sure. Um, I'm going to move on to Echo and what he's doing while all this is going on. Um, as we know from previous episodes, he had split from the Bad Batch group to go help out Captain Rex on various missions. Um, right now, during this episode, they are uh, trying to rescue some clone prisoners from a ship. Um, they are successful in doing so and uh, kind of did some data mining while they were there. Um, what they did with this data is they needed somebody to interpret it, right? And who better than Tech? So they go to the planet where um, Tech and the rest of the group are to um, kind of combine efforts to figure out what's going on with these prisoners. Why are these prisoners specifically taken? Where were they going to? Um, and just, you know, why are they taking clone prisoners for what appears to be no reason, right? So now we've got the rest of the Bad Batch group, right? So that includes Omega, Hunter, and Tech. And what's up with those three? So as you can see from my background, we've got Omega, who is learning how to pilot the ship um, with Tech as her teacher. And it's going just about as you can imagine any kind of driver's training pretty scary for tech but omega's there for it she's ready to learn um that actually was kind of in the beginning of the episode but then they jumped to the rest of the group later in the episode so um there's a little bit of a gap between these two things happening if you're watching the episode um but anyway just side note um so echo and uh Captain Rex land at the planet, right? And Tech is able to decode the data and to find out that these prisoners were being taken to, and I don't remember the name of the place, um, but it's the place where we know that they're doing kind of like their medical experiments, right? And Tantus. he can see from the data logs. Tantus. Tantus, that's right. Thank you. 
we can see from the data logs that um, crosshair was taken there previously. So the Bad Batch now knows where Crosshair is and that he's not in such a great place. He's not being this like war general, like what they thought he was uh, because he's at this medical um, testing facility. Um, so what they do with the rest of this information is this is about the time when they get that transmission from uh, Crosshair's old account. And so they're trying to deter Ooh, excuse me, trying to determine what to do with this information. And uh, uh, that's kind of about where we leave it. Do you think I missed anything? Uh, the only thing that I remember that I think you didn't cover is that um, there was a part where um, Crosshair was trying to escape. And when he was doing that, there was this gas that was released. And the guy that's kind of in charge of everything um tells him that he's that the guy that released it is actually immune to it. And so Crosshair basically blacks out from it and uh, they are able to use the mind probe to uh, inject him with quite a bit of stuff this time. Um, but we also get a little bit of a conversation between this guy that's in charge and Tarkin and uh, Tarkin's basically telling him, like, get it together uh, or else. And so the guy is basically on a, on a very, very, um, I don't know what the word is. Uh, he is very bent on trying to get Omega. Like he is on some thin ice. Yeah. He is trying to, he has a, a, a surgeon behind him because Tarkin's on his butt. Yeah. Good point. Yes. Um, yeah, that gas could potentially be important down the road with uh, certain people developing immunity or tolerance to it while others are not. Uh, so a lot happened in this episode. Jeremy, what did you think of it? I thought it was all right. It was interesting. Um, I, we are heading towards the finale, which is next week. There's going to be two episodes released uh, back to back. So we will be at the end of the Bad Batch next week. So I think it, it sets it up. Interestingly, I guess that uh, maybe we'll get some sort of uh, cool. My guess is it's going to be a rescue mission. I don't think it's going to be anything too big, um, but it's interesting to see the the mind probe uh, actually being used. Like for instance, we see it in uh, A New Hope because Vader uses it on Leia, but um, we don't actually see it happen. We just kind of see the probe get closer and closer to her and then the door shuts so we don't actually know how it works whereas here they actually showed us so that was kind of a cool uh hey you've seen this before this is actually how it works kind of a thing so i like that i like the little battle that they had with um echo and the uh, the imperial ship uh when they were trying to figure out what the information was like they were trying to delete the files uh, I thought that sequence was pretty cool. Uh, Omega learning how to drive, I guess that's all right. Um, it adds to her character development, but uh, I guess I'm still... I'm waiting to be really excited about the finale, and uh, I was just kind of, okay, we're getting there, kind of a thing. So it was all right for me. It wasn't bad, but it was all right. How about you? I swear that's what we say every week. It was all right. It was okay. Well, yeah, nothing special. That, it wasn't terrible. That's kind of kind of what this show has been. You know, we're I think the where this show really hits this season is just the plain crosshair episodes. Like those are the main ones that I think were really good. Um but I feel like they're really trying to play into this has to be almost like kid friendly to follow um, Omega's story. But then when we go to Crosshair, that's almost like the adult topics, so to speak. Um, so I, I kind of have that uh, almost like a weird, like when Omega and them are on screen, it's kind of like, am I going to be excited by this or am I not? Whereas when Crosshair is on the screen and it's just about him, I'm like, okay, what is going on? So 
that's kind of how it's been for me. What'd you I would think? say I would say the scenes with her are a bit more fun, whereas the scenes with Crosshair are a bit more serious. Um, so I would agree with you there. I thought it was okay. <laughs> I know I make fun of you for saying that I say the same thing. Uh, um, it wasn't spectacular, but it wasn't terrible either. Um, the big thing for me is that I liked that it brought everybody together. But I'm also very curious on where it's going. They mentioned in this episode, Echo was talking, uh, he made some sort of a comment about them not being with Sid or like surprised you're here without Sid or something like that because Echo doesn't know that they split up from Sid. And if that doesn't go anywhere, if there's no retaliation for them breaking from Sid, I'm going to be not super thrilled. I feel like there needs to be some sort of repercussion from that. She needs to do something to either one work with the empire or two send somebody after them to kind of you know uh i don't know that send somebody after them is really the proper thing really she just needs to work with the empire but she also probably doesn't want to have the empire on her back so i don't know i just something needs to happen with sid i don't want that just to be swept on the rug like nothing ever happened yeah it makes me wonder um because like you i think you mentioned that you know, Crosshair does not know exactly where they are. Um, but I want I, I don't remember, but maybe he knew about their connection with Sid. Like maybe that's what they'll get out of him with the mind probe, and then they'll make a deal with Sid of we'll give you a ton of money if you tell us where they're at, kind of a thing, and that's when she'll double cross them. I could see that being like the small little intro, or maybe that's the first half of the finale because there's two episodes next week so maybe but again i would totally agree with you if this goes under the rug and they ignore it it's going to be awful it's going to be stupid so yeah i'm hoping that there's some sort of connection with sid with the finale next week anything else that you want to mention about this episode um no i think that pretty well covers it uh, we got everybody all together. It almost seems a little silly that uh, Echo and them broke off just for them to come back so soon. But, I mean, I guess it's okay. Maybe they realize that they're fighting the same enemy. And so that's why they want to take it on together. But I guess we'll find out next week because we don't have 100%, you know, this is what's happening it's just kind of uh, up in the air at the moment. So uh, we look forward to what happens next week. We will be covering the finale here on the channel. So if you like these type of videos, please subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. That way you are notified when the finale episode drops. We are also covering The Mandalorian and soon Jedi Survivor. If you like this video, drop a like and drop a comment letting us know your thoughts on the episode of the week. And then as always, everybody, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.